Uh, what we're going to do is, is that's on the last one of the a video a couple of days ago, yesterday maybe, I don't know. But it's on fire. It's showing you. But what we're going to do is, I need to at least write it out, is we're going to look at Romans chapter 1. And we're going to look at Paul. We're going to see what Paul, Paul has to say. We're going to see what Paul has to say. All right, so Romans 1, 17 and 18 is basically what we'll be looking at. You know, and uh, let me go ahead and just start off by saying experience outweighs any kind of uh, memorizing. Like what we're saying is, is if you go to a structure, the average individual in their brain, their entire existence through TV, radio, image, status, in their brain, if you don't have X, Y, and Z, then you don't know what you're talking about. And see, if you're a Christian, is that a godly mind? Let me ask you a, a, a real simple question. If you're a person or an individual um, for Jesus Christ, and I want you to really think about what you do and where your information comes from and not here. I want you to think about how you look to man, to your structure, who's supposed to represent God. Strongholds is what they are. If you look at it as a farm, like a state farm, farm bureau, like animals, then you can see how the, the stock, which is the animals, which is us, is controlled. Stock market, it's all animal terms. But see, you're programmed to not listen to me. You know why? Because of who, see, and in here it talks about miracles, but your whole existence will not allow you to step outside of what you think that you know since you're being challenged right now. Because what we're going to do is, is expose the false prophets for who they are. And we're going to talk about the word hold and suppress. Okay? Now, we'll just start with Romans. We'll just start from the beginning. <laughs> Excuse me. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for another day. I have not prayed in a long time on any social media, which is insanity on all levels, but we're going to show the world, you know what? If it's... It, there ain't nobody standing up. Nobody. Nobody. So, if we have to do this, and they'll say this, listen to his mouth. This is too deep, 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 deep. And I already know what you're going to say. Just keep going. Because I made a deal with you. You know what I'm saying? I made a deal. And truthfully, it's... And they don't know that we're programmed by Satan. And so all these bad habits that we have, that we've accepted as realities, oh, well, this, we have to get out of that before we get to you. This is what they don't know. We're just passing through. And they don't want to hear it from a man in the hospital bed, a white man, now, on how God literally has gave them almost nine years against everything that they're worshiping. But see, they don't understand that we come through here and we're supposed to, to learn and we're supposed to obey God, laws, not man stuff. And so and instead of we know, I know, that we're not getting ready for the other side. We're getting ready for the next day to go have fun. Yeah. Go have fun. Fun. Yeah. And, and they don't see that. And then they carry that to the other side. They don't know that the phones come from us. The invention. And how they, you transfer memory from one phone to another or whatever. Is how when we die, we transfer our consciousness over to you. And then we face judgment. And then we see you. I already know. I'm trying to tell them. 
that we see a whole mural of our whole existence right there. And we get to see what we've done. And we get to see our emotions and the fear of the world. When the Bible says, do not conform to the world. You can't love the Father in the world too. And what are, we, what are all of us going to be watching? Us just sitting there in front of the TV going, it's real bad. I'm telling y'all, this is real. Satan's real too and they won't listen. In Jesus' name, amen. That was a cool prayer. Dang! No, I didn't lose it. But, there was some truth in that. All kinds of truth. <clears throat> when I said that we see a mural, okay, AI is Satan. And to those of y'all that say X, Y, and Z about religion and all that, listen. You don't have it in you to keep looking further. Listen, I've tried to tell you, it, this is the biggest cake ever. There's so many layers to the cake that you never, you'll you keep going till you die of uncovering, trying, but there's only gonna allow so much out there. You know, but the, the listen, our whole existence, this whole Bible is gematria. And it's not bad because you don't understand because you've never, they, they just didn't lie. They never taught you about anything. It's like if Hebrew and Greek and all this is what we need to know, how do we not know that they didn't translate stuff into some stuff that we're in some shit now? Sorry. That is bad because it is. Do you not understand? If we are going to worship God, then we have, you've got to see it for what it is. And you've got to start understanding that your whole existence has been developed inside the brain. You go through 12 grades inside, learning inside. You know, there's no activity at all. There's very minimal. You know, and there is. And so, and they say, well, what's wrong with these generations? Well, they've made them lazy. By the time they graduate, they've already developed those lifetime habits. Do you understand? Your, your brain and faculties and senses are developed away from nature, away from smells of flowers, away from paying attention to the seasons, the sunrise, the sunset, studying the zodiac and all that and the lights, letting your eyes adjust to long distances and everything. That's not there. And that's why y'all can't see it. You can't see eye to eye. You, all you see is what's in front of you. And in the Bible, it talks about things hidden. You see, you can't see that because you're corrupt. Everybody's corrupt. Generationally corrupt. It says, Paul, a servant of Jesus Christ, called to be an apostle, separated unto the gospels of God which he had promised before by his prophets in the Holy Scriptures concerning his son, Jesus Christ our Lord, which was made of the seed of David according to the flesh <clears throat> and declared to be the son of God with power according to the spirit of holiness by the resurrection from the dead, by whom we have received grace and apostleship for obedience to the faith among all nations for his name. But where's your obedience to the faith? It, your obedience is to structures, to man. We're going to get into it here in just a minute. Among whom are ye also the called of Jesus Christ? To all that be in Rome, beloved... <laughs> Sorry. To all that be in Rome, beloved of God, called to be saints, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. First, I thank my God through Jesus Christ for you all, that your faith is spoken of throughout the whole world. For God is my witness, whom I serve with my spirit in the gospel of his Son, that without ceasing I make mention of you always in my prayers, making a request if by any means now at length I might have a Prosperous, prosperous journey by the will of God to come unto you. For I long to see you that I may impart unto you some spiritual gift to the end ye may be established. 
That is, that I may be comforted together with you by the mutual faith, both of you and me. Now I would not have, this is 13, now I would not have you ignorant, brethren, that oftentimes I purposed to come unto you, but was let hitherto that I might have some fruit among you also, even as among other Gentiles. I am debtor both to the Greeks and to the barbarians, both to the wise and to the unwise. So as much as is, is in me, I am ready to preach the gospel to you that are at Rome also. 16, for I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the first Jew and also to the Greek. I'm going to say that again. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation. Okay, but salvation has to do with your saliva. Okay, and what is your saliva? Cells. See, and then it ties into semen. Okay, if you put semen underneath the black light, it glows. Why? Because it's magnetic. You're never taught that. Now, this is where it's going to get very rough. Let me ask you a question. Well, let me finish it. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from the faith, from faith to faith as it is written, the just shall live by faith. 18, for the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness, but who suppress the truth. God's saying this right here to what we're fixing to talk about. For the wrath of God is re revealed from heaven against all false prophets and all of their satanic organizations of men who, who suppress the truth of God. And that's what it says in the NIV is, the, is suppress. Or, or one of them. But here it's who hold the truth in unrighteousness. Okay, now, when we're going to talk about sex, Okay, this is going to be a hardcore uh, video for you to uh, even grasp because we're going to write a few things up here. Okay. We've got to talk about this for a minute. Sex. Marriage. Procreation. sex glands. You're never taught about in school. They get turned on like a light switch in the magnetic field. Okay. These people are suppressing the truth. Because what they've done generationally has programmed you into you have to get married under a certificate. So you're being allowed to be married. It's not hard. You go to the courthouse. Yeah, we just went to the courthouse to get married. But the reason you get married is because you're in a corporation and when you and another one open up an account with the corporation of the United States, you're joint now. Okay? But the thing is, is maritime admiralty law is why. That's the reason you get married. Okay? Right there. So, just by what Paul's saying alone, they have suppressed the truth for a corporation, for man, for ungodliness. Do you understand what I'm telling you? And most of y'all will not take heed to this. And it doesn't matter what you think or say. The truth is the truth. In Hosea 4, 
chapter 4, verse 6, it says, My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. Matt, that's in the oath. Is, is, is this the word of God? It's a, it's a yes or no question. For lack of knowledge. And whose fault is it for all Christians to have lack of knowledge? We're going to get you again on suppressing the truth. You. In your fake schools, in your fake everything, you all together, do you see what the power of real prayer does? What some of y'all did when you prayed for me? You're getting the truth. Because they know, they, listen, these numbers mean everything, and every, everything that, I, you know, if something happens to me, which I doubt it, because they, they have to respect what's going on. Even evil does. Because they know the truth, and I do too. And they're ha they ha I know they're blown away. Because y'all don't know even anything what I'm talking about. You're, you're, you're corrupt. You're worldly. And I'm working on nine years of getting out of it and getting prepared. Like this says, get prepared. Even though you look at my language and you judge me, how dare you? For lack of knowledge. So they already know suppressing the truth, creating a school system, giving you the lowest curriculum ever to never critically think that you will never ever be able to possibly challenge the truth until this one come along. I'm challenging the whole system. It's not challenging. It's exposing for what it is. You have been forced to not have any knowledge. You've been forced to be given gadgets when you go buy a fake phone, which just kills you more than anything. You get nine games on there with it. Now, is that there to help you or hurt you? It's to hurt you. The children now's brain, which is the image of God, is in here. Whatever you put in here is going to upload and dictate who you are and how you... Yeah, it's crazy. And there, nobody even fought it. The people fought it. They're in their room now all over it. And AI, remember, is Satan. Satan wants to be worshipped like Jesus. He wants to be like Jesus. Y'all think he's just going to... Through your movies, which is in there. It's not real. The movies. Satan is. So Satan comes to the children through AI, through the cartoons, through the toys, through the gadgets, through the virtual reality. It doesn't matter what you think now. Satan's here, he's been here, and he's bigger than ever. Just wait until a couple of decades. He'll be full-blown then. Full-blown abortion everywhere, just like going and getting a 12-pack. And y'all gonna say I'm crazy because of you've been suppressed. The truth has been suppressed through false prophets generationally, and you've accepted it. These are fake wizards. They have no life. This is it. They think that lying, the bigger the con of aggregates of people, congregation the bigger their status is, they feel. Well, how big do you think the status within me is calling all of you out at once, all over the planet sphere? I know what's in the air. I can smell you. It stinks everywhere. Lack of knowledge. You didn't teach them about Matthew 5.13, ye are the salt of the earth. And if the salt has lost its savor, wherewith it shall be salted, it is thenceforth good for nothing and trodden under foot of men. It means you're made of 12 cell salts, minerals. It's in here, it tells you. And then they've suppressed the truth. But let me read one more verse. It's. Proverbs 1 7, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. 
And look at every child now with a phone. Fools. Look at you. You reject light. You reject knowledge. You're a fool. By definition of in here. Through the suppression generationally of the truth. It sucks for some of y'all. Because Matt, I, it's like in your world, it's not real. Satan raised you with his gadgets and his fake technology. Without us, he couldn't have done it. And your connection and attachment to the world is like it's a lock to a demon. You can't give it up. Everything is so attached to you. That's what Satan does. He gets you young. Gets you so attached to it. And then that way, you'll never look. We are generations after of it being illegal to look up. You need to think about that. What do you mean we can't look up? Don't you look up! And you'll go, this is what you'll say. You'll say, I ain't never seen that. I'm a history. It, listen, you've got lies. Y'all have no. Look, I want to read just a little bit more right quick. Since we're on fire. And it's pretty hard. You know what? It's all right. And 19, because that which may be known of God is manifest in them. For God hath shewed it unto them. 20, for the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his, inter even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Because that, when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful but became vain in their imaginations and their foolish heart was darkened. Technology, that's AI. Y'all manifested it with your, it's like, it's very easy, but like I said, it's the connection. It's this. Do you see, when you challenge the fault, when you challenge a whole system, <laughs> The, the, it's insane. Because even initiates, if they're watching this, they they might have think they have knowledge, and it's like because they'll it, it's just hard to explain. Twenty two professing themselves to be wise, they became fools, and it's this is now again, and changed the glory of the uncorruptible God into an imagined and to an image made like to corruptible man and to birds and four-footed beasts and creepy things. Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanliness through the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. What do you think that they're forcing in the schools? Dishonor your body. Okay, <laughs> now whatever you want to do with your sexual orientation is this and that, but... See, the marriage is for a corporation. You can just, throw, that's a piece of paper. It doesn't mean anything. That's for a slave system. You're meant to procreate. Let's throw away all the technology and the magazines and all the porno and the pervert stuff. Okay, do you think God gets off when you get off there and making love or sex? Come on. Well, you'll be like, what? Yeah. See, the seed in us it's, Jesus talks about it. Is is there to create life, not to abuse. Okay, and what you don't know that you're battery. And God, the way God made this is every month, month, when your cells are running on all cylinders, and your sign, when the moon's in the sign you were born in, for two days, two and a half days or whatever, then your cells in you multiply that you don't know anything about. Okay, and that's really suppressing the truth. And then the more we spill our seed, then the more it disconnects us as a battery. And that's why the children are banging and popping off left and right. And so, so disgustingly, shit everywhere, doo-doo hands and all that, and picking up. They don't ever talk about that on the news, but it's real. And what happens is, is we, this fluid, you have to, are you that dumb to where, like, we're fluids, but you're never taught that in the school system. 
You never taught anything. So the semen is actually battery fluid, brain fluid. And the more we deplete it, then the more it makes us stupid slowly. And it does. And then when we're depleted of what where brain fluid is, and then once we're always watching TV and on pills and everything, you're stupid. See? And then you just get big and go to their structures, and it's a Ponzi scheme. Satan. It's so funny, it's not even funny. You know, but for lack of knowledge. And see, the thing is, is it, it just it gets me going. You know, because uh, 25 says, who changed the truth of God into a lie and worships and served the creature more than the creator, who is blessed forever, amen. <laughs> For this cause God gave them up into vile affections, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the women, burned in their lust one toward another, men with men, working that which is unseemingly and receiving in themselves that... But see, it doesn't matter if you're male or female. Here's the deal. Now it does, but it doesn't in this world now. But we're going to look at the act of sex, okay? All right, let's say gay and straight, okay? Those, those relationships together are no different hanging around each other, okay? Once the act of sex is brought into play, then that's lust, okay? Because you're never taught that that fluid, that feel good, that discharge is telling you you're discharging charge is being cut in half and see without all prior existence of anything that you have in your brain from satan or man gay and straight you would not be doing what you're doing both of you all four of you if you were taught proper way about what's going on in your anatomy and the fluids in you and the semen and the saliva and all that you would not do that you would never think about it would not happen the only thing you would think about is, is procreating. And that's it. That's it. And then we would be back to building these magnetic structures that can fly and all kinds of shit that you don't know anything about. Because the movies gave you Western uh, cowboys and Indians. And see, the TV itself has suppressed the truth. It does. It suppresses the truth. And yet all Christians have it in their house. Do you see how we're so ignorant? Please, Satan, come on in. And it's AI, like we're saying. So I'm going to end on this. You know, I really do love you, but it's like, look, I can't take it no more looking at this entity doing what they're doing. I got to lay it all out there like it is. Because this is God coming through me. And telling you that y'all are in a lie. And how you've been programmed, not by God, by man, to obey anything. It's funny that people with money, they go to these churches and get a feel good and go, let's go back to slave labor. That was a good sermon there. Uh, what are you talking about a good sermon? See, seminary school implies semen. Because the satanic schools are impregnating the minds of the masses with satanic Satanism. Doesn't matter where you go to church, you're they're suppressing the truth. And if they've got the nuts and Jesus Christ truly in them, then they're gonna listen to this video and then they're gonna say, Hey, we're gonna we're gonna start because you you gotta fight, but you can't fight because Disney has weakened your heart, your mind, and your soul. You need to think about it. If we went in your brain that you take with you when you die. What's in there? It's more corruptness. You're bankrupt. You know, your lack of knowledge will not allow you to see this for what it is. Because most of y'all have been under the illusion and under the sorcery of hearing that one, and they get it. They pick it up generationally. The children see the pastors, and it's just like football or baseball. It's just anything. They want to be like that, and then they create the mannerisms and dress and 
Yeah, yeah it's a lie. You need to, all these are lies. We can make clothes out of hemp and other shit, but they took that from us. And see, you're generationally into the slave system without the material that we could do everything for free. Toilet paper, paper, everything. You pay for everything that you do. You're a slave. God's telling me, telling you through me, this is not me telling y'all. This is not Matt telling you what you're in. Although you see a man with flesh, you do not accept that somebody might worship God more than you do. Because you worship the world. If we wrote down your existence on your piece of paper and do an inventory, if we wrote down your daily inventory of what you do, we're going to show you that world, 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 world. From baby, child, young adult, 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 mind control, mind control, mind control, mind control. Satan, 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 Satan. The mind is slowly being engineered into a satanic, don't say nothing, I'm weak. Don't ever, oh, I'm so scared, I'm in fear. Where does it say in our, our book to be fearful? Where does it say to worship TV? Where does it say to be enslaved by man pretending to represent Jesus Christ? You can't find it because it ain't in there. You need to think about the mass suicide if people actually took heed to this video, if it got millions of views. But see, in their, they won't put it together. They're, they're uh uh-uh, uh-uh. It's like y'all gave billions and trillions to Satan. The same poverty is everywhere. You know, see, they just bleed the shit out of you. And there are some of you that do good, but Satan really feeds off of poverty and fear. That's your emotions. See, you control people through emotions and everybody's got the slave device in their house. AI, which is TV. Here, put that in there. You don't know it's telling you what to do, but it is. If you can cut the TV and get back into that and really look at it for what it is, because it's your anatomy too, and it's that, the zodiac, and it's the disciples, and it's the disc disciples, the 12 dorsal vertebrae that go around everywhere like a circuit board, discipling the word of God, the name of Jesus, everywhere. And if one of the disciples, the organs goes down, then the whole body of Christ dies. This is the head, your brain. This is the body of Christ. And now Satan has taken you, literally the body of Christ, and said, there it is. There's the body of Christ. It's not you. We're just a likeness. No, no, no. You're an image. No, Matt. You don't have money. You don't get to say that. You're going to pay for that on the other side. No, you don't have Jesus. That's a demon in you that you will not give up. You know, church is not... Church goes into... uh, 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 We'll speak as God for a minute. Church is my nemesis. Church is my enemy. You know why? Because church means Circe, Kirky. And you go to Costco, which is Kirkland. Kirk means Circe. Circe is the enchantress of pharmacia. And then you go to pharmacies, which is her sorcery. She subdues you, turns you into swine, and makes you give her all your possessions. And that's what y'all are doing to my enemy. You worship it. You worship Satan. But you can't understand in the image of God... Your entire existence, you've seen a million commercials that says, go get pills, go get pills, go get toilet paper. Even though we know we got to wipe our ass, go buy toilet paper? It's insane. And now y'all got to shave your genitals. Yeah, let's shave them. What is wrong with these stupid people? See, and that's Matt talking. This is God. Forgive them. I'll, script, I'll quote scripture. Forgive them, Father, for they don't know what they do. I think that's what it is. All right. That's your sermon for the ages. I love you.